How to set up an iPad like a desktop computer. With the introduction of iPadOS 16.1 in late 2022, Apple added some new features, including proper external monitor support. So can the iPad be used as a desktop? We're going to check out this new feature called Stage Manager and explore what kinds of apps you can run in this new mode. Connecting to an external display in extended mode is limited to iPads powered by an M series processor, such as the M1 or M2. Supported iPads at this time are the iPad Pro 11, third generation or later, the iPad Pro 12 9, fifth generation and later, and the iPad Air, fifth generation. To connect to a display, you're going to require a USB Type-C or Thunderbolt adapter. I tested DisplayPort, HDMI, and even a VGA monitor of varying resolutions without any issues. Once connected, the iPad will be in mirror mode. There are a few settings to adjust. Open the Settings app, select Home Screen and Multitasking, and enable Stage Manager. Stage Manager is a new iPadOS feature that enables multiple panels of apps that can be resized and moved around the screen. Now it's time to configure the external display. Move into Settings, Display and Brightness, and under Display select Arrangement, and turn off Mirror Display if it's toggled on. You can also click and drag to reposition the layout of the monitors for mouse continuity. Working on the external display requires the use of a mouse or a trackpad. This can be over Bluetooth using the Magic Mouse or a Magic Trackpad. Wired mice also work when connected over USB through a hub or dock. Now that you've set up desktop monitoring and stage manager, what else can you do? Running multiple apps on the iPad is very desktop-like. I started with an Adobe Express document, and I clicked the three-dot multitasking panel to move from the iPad display to the external monitor. Like Mac OS, click and drag the lower corners of the app window to resize the panel. However, not all apps support resizing yet. To load another app, open the app library on either display and launch. Send out to the other monitor using the options panel. And to see both applications in a side-by-side -side view, click the options panel and choose add another window. The app tiles cascade and click the app that you'd like to move to the foreground. Now you can resize either panel. Following this, I can open up even more apps. Here's what a quad app setup looks like with books and files open. In another example, I can run DaVinci Resolve on the iPad while I follow a tutorial on the Rocket Yard blog on the main display. Or I can keep all of my camera images open in the Files app while I'm processing over in Pixelmator on the iPad. And lastly, this combination I have with Procreate, Monument Valley, Weather, and Notes all running smoothly looks great. To get the most out of your iPad as a desktop, you'll want to add a great dock to your setup, preferably something with power pass through since there is only one connection port on the iPad. You can even add wired Ethernet to iPad OS for a more consistent internet connection at home or the office. How are you using the iPad? Is it your go-to device for work? Or is it something you leave at home for Netflix and recipes? How would adding a proper monitor change your workflow? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. For the Rocket Yard blog, I'm Arthur Dittner.